There are two problems. The polluted Tijuana River flows north into the U.S. Secondly, Mexican waste that's pumped into the ocean carries naturally into California. Now, by law, Mexico is supposed to treat both and tell us when they don't. Officials say they're not. You've got this plume of brown, stenchy sewage. It was like a giant blob, like the blob moving forward up your beach and just filling your nostrils and every, all your senses with the stench of raw sewage. Our guys understand the risks of law enforcement being shot at, being rocked, but we won't accept any more is working in basically a sewage or chemical waste dump. The Border Patrol, surfers, anyone using this beach is exposed to Mexican waste. I personally got it on my arms and literally within a minute, I've had a huge rash to the point my supervisor said, go to the hospital. This year, 83 of 300 agents filed reports of being affected. Chromium, cadmium, lead burns their boots. Swimmers immersed in E. coli get physically sick. It's usually frothy. It's kind of brown. It's, it stinks quite a bit. In February, a spill in Mexico sent 250 million gallons of raw sewage and industrial waste into the U.S., where the Tijuana River flows north over the border. 200 days a year, officials close Imperial Beach. Unfortunately, the US, United States government seems to be in the mode where everything's fine, don't worry about it. Local cities are suing the U.S. and Mexico. Literally, and, and pun intended, they don't give a crap. Where's the governor of California? Governor Brown is going around the world, saving the world from the, for the environment. God bless, but what about this environmental disaster down here? So the bottom line is people are getting sick. Mexico is not poor. They have oil, they have tourism, trade. It has money, Bill. Uh, officials just argue they're choosing not to spend it on cleaning the water. Back wow. to you. Wave Nod, Jeunesse, thank you.